So Google has actually banned 150 dangerous Android apps from the Play Store. So if you have these apps on your devices or on your smartphones, some of them do have some kind of cyber security thing that spy on us when you are trying to use the applications. They tend to just spy on whatever we do on our phones, being it our card, we enter on our devices and all and it's sometimes breach contracts um it sometimes breach the security terms they agree to go on with google before they upload their applications to the store so this is the notes that was released by a trusted source and this is what they said how people falling for these fake apps okay so the apps discovered are essentially identical in structure meaning the same base app structure is repurposed numerous times these copies are disguised as genuine apps through well constructed app profiles on the play store so there are apps which are already in the play store and then they tend to mimic the application they tend to just copy how the app does work and people will see it and they feel like this is legit so let me just go download it but they might have different intentions trying to just make this app run on your devices and if maybe you fall prey for the Thing they are doing then they are gonna get you they're actually just gonna get anything they feel like they want but who knows we should be careful of whatever application we try downloading on our phones and that is what we need to know so the profile features catchy photos and enticing app description alongside often high review average so sometimes i don't know i don't even get it because you might see an application which is very very bad but they tend to have good reviews so i don't know if maybe they buy from fiverr i should say or maybe they tend to just ask people to review the applications and you might just see an application in the play store and then you tap on it you check it out and then you might see it's so crappy that it doesn't even have to get a four star or even a three star but you see people saying good stuff about it so you need to be very very cautious of those kind of applications too and however upon closer inspection they have generic privacy policy statements and feature basic developer profile including generic email they also tend to have numerous negative reviews from users that correctly identify the apps as scams or have fallen for the scam all right so you probably might get some applications that are going to tell you if you play this game you're going to get this money and those applications sometimes i just tend to tell people that these apps wouldn't work they will make you just um play the game for a long time and then waste your time without even giving you anything but people do even make reviews of those kind of applications and it's gonna make people fall for it because sometimes when i even want to download an application what i do first is i come on youtube here or maybe i check out the review so when i come on youtube and i even see someone talking about it or maybe making a good review about it i'll just go forward to go to the play store again and then download it but people do just make reviews of some work applications or applications which are not supposed to be used on our devices and it might convince people so i think google should just scrutinize things very very well and i think it's going to be very helpful so these are a list of applications that have been removed from the google play store ultima keyboard 3d pro i'm going to leave the screen record of this list of apps right here so that you guys can just check it out so you can pause the video and then check it out if you think maybe any of them are on your devices or on your phone you can delete it right away because you might not know what the application is actually doing on your device it might be spying on you or it might be doing a lot of things you might not know so there's this applications right here which is wi-fi password unlock and then wi-fi around or wi-fi hotspot and then unlock so these are applications a lot of people do go around trying to download even on youtube i see a couple of videos people will do watch trying to just get free wi-fi and all i want to tell you that those things don't work you're not going to get anyone's wi-fi for free or something so you just have to be very careful when you see these kind of applications or videos on youtube trying to tell you to get free wi-fi and all it doesn't really work it doesn't work not really it doesn't work so you stay away from those things too and then you can check out right here there are a lot of cool applications you might think they are cool but they are not so you have futures kind of free i don't know what that is amaze translate football master caller voice recording so with the call voice recording you might not know the application might be recording whatever you are even doing or whatever call you are actually having 
um, with someone which is even more confidential they might be recording without your notice or your permissions so you need to check out the applications you really download on your phone so if this video was very helpful just give it a thumbs up and you can check out this video right here it probably will just let you know some cool applications that are going to support your devices which are safer than what we just saw right here and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace